Hey YouTube, I'm coming to you with a tutorial on how to bulk name media files when filing stuff for your Plex media server. So today, as you can see, I have a season of King of the Hill. This is season three, and I am looking to make my media files match a naming convention for Plex. So as I went on the Plex server, here's a snippet of how I want to name my files when putting them into my Plex server. So first off, you have the show library. There's a TV show. Um, you'll name that TV show name and year. Uh, then in that folder, you put on the season number. And then in there, you label each season, the show name, episode, and episode name. So instead of copy and pasting this one by one, I'm going to show you how to do it in bulk. As you can see, they're labeled right here. And not only that, I'll show you how to achieve the names from the same place the Plex server goes and pulls all of its metadata. So opening up this Excel file I have right here, this uh, change file names, we're gonna open that up. As I get into that, the first thing I got here is the database input. We're not gonna look at that right now. We're gonna go to the file converter. I got this from somewhere else on the internet. I did not create this piece right here. Um, this was made by somebody else. I just forgot where I got it from. So if I do figure out where I got it from, I'll leave a post in the description on where I got it from to give the creator credit. So I'm going to go get my files now and import them into this Excel document. So that was on my desktop and that was under the king of the hill. So here's my files. I'm going to control A and open. As I can see, it imported everything in, but they're a little out of order. So I got episode two, three, four, five, six, seven. So somewhat in order, but somewhat out of order. But I want them all in order. So I'm going to click on the little arrow right here, and then I'm going to sort everything A to Z. Now that that's done, I have episode one, two, everything matches all the way down to 25. I'm going to go over to this DB input. So that's the database we're going to get the files from, and I want to be able to see this happen as I show you. We're going to click on this little web link right here, and that's going to bring us to the site that Plex pulls all the metadata from. We're going to search for King of the Hill. So right off, I'm going to capture the name. I'm going to paste that right here to match the destination format. And if I scroll over just a little bit, you see it populated King of the Hill all the way down. Now I'm going to go back to the website. As I scroll down, I'm trying to label season three. So this is a good way to tell if you have all the seasons or not, because everything that came out for that TV show will be found right here. So I'm going to go to season three, because that's what we're working on right now. So here are all the names and episode numbers for season three. So I'm going to start here at the top, and I'm going to move all the way down to the last runtime and copy this. So now that I have that information, I'm going to go back over here and paste that in this gray box right here. And I'm going to make it match the destination format. So one of the problems I was running into, and I set up some conditional format rules, is when you did that, sometimes Windows naming conventions did not like certain characters. Well, if it has a character that's not acceptable in a naming convention, it will highlight that name red. In this instance, I see right here, this one's highlighted red, and there is a semicolon. So it doesn't like semicolons, and it doesn't like question marks and a few other things. So I'm going to remove that semicolon, click off. Now it's highlighted white. So everything from here can concatenated to make the correct naming conventions that I want for my Plex server. And this just helps to make a standard that all my movies and videos adhere to. So I'm going to copy all these names. I'm going to come over here to the converter. 
And in this converter, I have where I imported everything. Everything's still in order. This is why we want it in order, because when I paste into here, I'm going to paste the values only. And I'm going to blow this up just a little bit so you can see. Now, there's my King of the Hill season, episode one, two, and then the episode name, the way I wanted to name it. Now I'm going to click here to change the file name. So as you can see, it populated this column for you. And I'm going to try to make this where you can see what's happening. So I'm going to move this just a little bit because the freeze panes is on and it's trapping everything there. So it's got the names that we want to name all these files. Now that it's got that, we're going to click this change name in folder. When we click that, give it a second. As you can see, it started to change things in the folder. It's thinking. And when you see that 400 sign, everything changed. That 400 error is good. That means it absolutely worked. And we can hit the OK. And you can see over here, if I span these, all the names came from right here. And now I can blow this up. And I can clear it. So I'm going to close this out. I, I'm not going to save it because I always leave it empty. But there's that. Now you can drop this. You can rename this season and drop it into this folder. So name it season 03. Drop the whole season in there. And everything's labeled the way Plex looks for it in IMDb. It, this will help reduce finding things that don't match within your server. This will ensure that everything that Plex is looking for, it's going to find. So if this helped you in any ways, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if you have any comments, and uh, look forward to more videos coming. Thanks.